into Gaza with the Israeli army on condition we didn't reveal their positions. Video shot after they took us through the gap in the fence into Gaza, though not this script, had to be submitted to their military censors. We got out of the back of an armored vehicle and walked into a wasteland. After a month of airstrikes and more than a week of tanks and troops, every building I saw was damaged or destroyed. They wanted to show us what they said was a Hamas weapons factory in this wrecked structure. Yeah, this is their scuba diving equipment that's uh, meant to come from, from sea, from their land to our land. And they made drones that drop bombs, he said, in this workshop. Places like this, he said, originated the 7th of October attacks. But upstairs was a family apartment. The soldiers said it was more proof that Hamas used civilians as human shields, building bombs underneath a bedroom used by children. The officer said Hamas, not Israel, was responsible for civilian deaths. We know intelligence. We know what we hit. We know the targets. They're approved by, the, by our command. It's not that I wake up and uh, my, my objective is to, to ruin the, the city. I aim for enemy, an enemy only. And I use all in my power to hit the enemy only. So judging by the, the destruction here, the enemy was everywhere, you'd say? Yes. Yes. Israel's prime minister promised his country a mighty vengeance against Hamas. But with so much firepower, one question, is Israel following Joe Biden's advice not to be blinded by rage, to defend itself, but also protect the lives of Palestinian civilians?